as we take a look at our tail of the tape between Subrio Matias and Petros Ananian. Ananian, four years older, both around the same heights, nearly the same weights, although Matias has a tremendous advantage with the reach. As we take a look at our rules now, no three knockdown rule here in the state of New Jersey. Only a referee can stop the fight, and the fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. The fight is official after four rounds here in the state of New Jersey. I'm Miguel Flores here. And Atlantic City getting you set for our co-main event tonight. Petro Sananian, Subrio Matias. Here's well, Japan. fans from the Borgata Hotel, Casino and Spa here in Atlantic City, New Jersey, Premier Boxing Champions presents our next attraction in the ring, brought to you by TGB Promotions in association with Fresh Productions, Debella Entertainment, and Showtime. Introducing our three judges, scoring this bout from ringside from New Jersey, Deborah Barnes. Also from New Jersey, Joseph Pasquale, and from Maryland, Paul Wallace. Introducing our referee in charge, she will be giving instructions after the introductions, Mary Glover. All right, fans, here we go with the co-main event of the evening. Super lightweights in the ring. 12 rounds of boxing scheduled in a rematch special attraction. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner. Wearing red trunks, fighting out of Los Angeles, California by way of Bovian, Armenia. He weighed in at 141 pounds. His record 16 wins, two losses, two draws, with seven wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the world rank contender introducing Petros Ananian. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gray trunks with yellow trim, hailing from Fajardo, Puerto Rico. He weighed in at 140 and one half pounds. His record stands at 17 wins, one loss, with all 17 wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the hard hitting IBF number two world rank 140 pound contender, introducing El Orgullo de Baternillo, Subriel Matias. Once again, a referee in charge. Now to give instructions, Mary Glover. Okay. In the dressing room, you both receive the same instructions. Whatever you do, you do it within the rules of boxing. Protect yourself at all times and obey my command at all times. You got it? Touch up. Thank you. Mary Glover, our referee. Co-main event, a rematch. Petro Sananian, Subriel Matias. Here we go, Matias in the gray and yellow, Ananian in the red. First of 12 rounds. Again, Matias with some serious power. Matias coming out, establishing the jab early. He believes he's a better boxer than Ananian. He felt like that was the first fight between them was a, was a fluke. And he said he's gonna show everyone tonight who the real better boxer is between himself and Petros Ananian. And there's that jab again. Quick jab. Matias. 
Very proud to be from Puerto Rico. As I said earlier, there's been a lot of hype as Matias was climbing the ranks and starting early in his career. Certainly suffered a speed bump, but that, there's that left hook again that just bounced Petros back. Petros certainly is a straightforward fighter. Doesn't offer much nuance, but he is not easy, constantly in your face. And he, he makes it difficult. There's a reason why he did defeat Subriel Matias. That mental pressure he provides as you see the hooks from Matias. And he can take a shot. There's a the right hook from Matias as the left hand just missed. Matias with the left hand. Nani on with the with the jab again. Trying to get on inside, he takes the left hook, and you're already starting to see the, the redness starting to form around the head of Petro Sananian as round one comes to a close. Here we go, round two. Quick jab from Matias. Back to the body against Petros. And there's that again. Petros is not hard to hit. I mean, he's gonna be there in your face. You can consistently connect with the jab. The question is, can you handle the fact that Petros is going to be in your face every single second of this fight? It's not easy to keep him to back away. You really have to hit him with something devastating. He's never been knocked out in his two defeats. And that certainly is what helped his case in their first fight. Matias didn't know how to deal with the pressure of Ananian. There you can see right up back to the body is Matias. Certainly staying busy. And definitely has to be well conditioned for these 12 rounds because Ananian is gonna be consistently there. And Matias just Patton, Petros, continuing to touch him with the jab, back with the right hook. to the body. And there is a left hook again. Matias into the body. And I think that's one of the ways that you can slow up Petros. Go into the body, right cross again from Matias. But a Petros still in just the grill of Matias. As Matias now opens things up with an uppercut. 
followed by the left hook. Petros, right counter on the side of the head of Matias. And now into the body is Subriel. And Petros not letting up whatsoever. This is going to be a dog fight. Both of these men fighting at an incredible pace thus far. Petros walked right into a right hand as round two comes to a close. There's Vito Mjolniki Jr., Walter Weight prospect within the premier boxing champions. Stable. As we are here in his home state of New Jersey. Round three. Back to the jab is Matias. He's certainly quicker than Ananian. And I believe he's got more power, but Ananian is certainly extremely tough, has a, a chin, and he doesn't make fights like this easy. But I think Matias is certainly more prepared, especially after fighting him once already. He knew what was he was going to expect coming into this fight. And now Matias back to the body, and I, I really like those those shots because you take away so much from Nanyan, it will cause him not to be as aggressive or in the face of Matias as often as he is, and now both men just starting to throw straight leather now. They are in a phone booth currently, shoulder to shoulder. As Matias starting to rip through, back to the body, mixing in shots upstairs. There's an overhand right by Petros as he presses forward into Matias, not letting up. And there you see Matias looks for that little bit of space to where he can unleash a combination. And there's that uppercut again by Petros. You certainly have to have a unique mindset. And there's that left hook from Petros. Followed by Matias, he countered with the left of his own. And right there, there you're starting to see just those little push and shoves from Petros. That works in the favor of Matias is that another uppercut delivers on Petros. Because he is getting tagged from a lot of these shots from Matias. And now Matias starting to let his hands go. Ananyan taking a lot of punishment here in round three. Matias still, he's now the one being the aggressor. Back to the body and just an insane combination. And there you see a left hook again, but Petros trying to stay in the fight. Trying to answer with the flurry of his own. He eats a left hook, he's starting to bleed now. Matias just touching Ananyan, uppercut again, and that round comes to a close. And Matias accidentally hit Petros after the bell, but as you see, the sportsmanship from Matias letting him know that was unintentional. And now Petros is in some real, real danger here. Yeah, Petros, control the situation, return with him. You go, right side, you're 
Все отлично, ты в контроле. Ты в контроле, но не выпрямляйся. Ты ушел сразу, право прямой, левый сбоку ему туда. Наслаивай постепенно. Ты чувствуешь ритм. Так общее, нормально? Here's some of the replays. There is that short left hook. And, and Matias, I thought he was just beautifully mixing up his shots into the body, then going back upstairs. And now Petro Sananian being checked by the doctor. And he looked at him. He's absolutely no way you're stopping this fight. He said, I'm good. I got all my senses. I'm ready to go. Round four. Matias is, you just sensed how determined he is. And there he is, back into the body. And I started to see a change. Once Petros was starting to shove Matias away, and that's not typically what he likes to do. He likes to be the one in the face. The other guys usually push him off, off of them. But he was doing that because he was getting tagged. And there you see Matias again. He is right in the line of fire. And he is delivering some punishment to Petros Ananyan. And Ananyan may not have much longer in this fight if he continues to take these shots from Matias. And he is really just digging into the body. And a little bit low. Mary Glover, referee Mary Glover, letting him know to keep him up. Back into the body, and there, Matias, he just explodes. And you see Petros tagged up, blood coming from his nose, a little bit under his right eye. And Matias into the body, and then he, as he said, he's just mixing up his shots so well. And he just delivers them in a flurry. And there's a right cross from Matias. Uppercut again from Matias. Petros now really starting to stay within the, the lion's den of Matias. Left hook connected for Subriel. And there is that left hook knocking Petros off balance, followed by an uppercut. And you can see Petros starting to let his hands go a lot more here in round four, but to no avail as Matias is just continuing to tag him. Petros, though, I will say he is incredibly tough and durable. He is trying to withstand this storm and still stay within the face of Matias. Certainly not easy. And there's the jab again for Matias. Final seconds as here we go with round four. Comes to a close. Round five, you started to see a cut form underneath the left eye of Petro Sananian. And he's also got blood coming from the nose, cut underneath his right eye as well, I believe. And there you see just some quick jabs from Matias. But again, Petro Sananian not going anywhere. 
He's eaten a lot of shots. But Matias, you can already tell, more better prepared for this fight than he was in the last fight. It's been two years since their last dust up in 2020. Left hook connected by Matias. And Ananian. Staying tough. Matias though into the body. And there you see a left hook. And when Matias mixes up his shots, when he goes to the body and he really digs in, you can just tell they bother Petros Ananian. And now Petros covering up to the body as he's trying to go upstairs. Connects on the left hook on Matias. Left hook by Matias, now back into the body. And there's straight right. And now using the jab. I mean, Ananian is just a warrior. The way he's able to stay in the pocket, even when Matias is connecting at the rate that he is. And now you're starting to see Ananian push Matias up against the ropes. And I think that was his game plan. I think he was hoping eventually this pressure would be a little bit too much for Matias and he can wear him down as the fight goes on. Matias back into the body as he again connects. And that bo those body shots are really doing some damage. I know referee Mary Glover telling him to keep him up, but a lot of those shots look clean. And you see the right cross as round five comes to a close. Now we take a look at the replays here. It looks some body work. Yeah, it was a little bit below the belt line there as you saw Matias referee Mary Glover. Just giving him a warning, letting him know. Keep him up. And then here is Matias back into the body, going upstairs, left hook. And he is constantly just throwing. And then here is Petro Sananian. There is that left hook partially blocked as he eats a right. Matias has done a tremendous job at not taking too many shots from Ananian. A lot of his shots have been partially blocked off the shoulder. And now Ananian, once again, Matias trying to use his speed and the jab. As we see, Matias will wear down his opponents. Back to the body is Matias. I mean, Petros Ananian has a chin on him. He is just relentless. Even though he is taking multiple shots from Matias to the body, back upstairs, and there you see just uh, Matias constantly just floating that jab, staying active. He always wants to have a punch in the face of Ananian or into the body. There is the right hook from Matias. Petros trying to gain some offense here.
And Matias back with the jab. Matias again just trying to manage how Ananian fights. He's just kind of leaning on him now. Guy has him pressed against the ropes. And this is where Matias, he's just trying to get a little bit of space to where he can get off of several combinations. And Ananian with a nice short little uppercut. And Matias with an uppercut of his own eats a jab. And again, a guy like Petros Ananian is not easy to fight against. I mean, this is, you have to be mentally prepared to be in a fight like this. Not a lot of guys can do it. This is relentless pressure, but Matias certainly seems way better prepared for this one. And there you see again, unloading his hands. And there's Petros Ananian looking to the crowd, trying to gain some momentum. There's a short left hook for Matias. And now both men starting to throw, and that was a shot at the end of the round. And as an onion, letting Matias know, hey, that was unintentional as well. Here we take a look at some of the replays. There is a short little uppercut from Matias. And then here was an uppercut of Ananian. Again, landing cleanly. And then here is, towards the end of that round, both men really starting to unload their hands. Left hook from Matias. Ananian eats another left hook. And now here, Petros Ananian in round seven, coming out extremely aggressive. And Matias, I mean, Petros Ananian took exception. Matias being deducted a point. I don't know about that. And she lets Matias know he's got to keep him up. But, I mean, I didn't, I, we're gonna have to take a look at that one at the end of this round. I mean, Matias now, with a point deduction, could be a huge factor. There's a straight left again from Matias. There's a right hook again from Matias. Ananian really hasn't changed his approach up at all. He knows he's got one way that he's going to try to win. He's going to be in your face. He's going to take some shots. He knows it, but he is going to be in your face. And there's a beautiful combination from Matias just tagging Petros Ananian. And Ananian, again, his face is as red as it can be, but he is still in the face of Matias. And Matias with the right, short right hook. And again, just picking apart Petros Ananian. There's that big left hook. And I think Ananian's hurt right there. His head just snapped back. And Matias starting to smell blood. There's Ananian losing some balance a bit, but he is still in the trenches. Another uppercut, and blood is really starting to pour out of the body of Ananian as he, he took a, a vicious body shot. Matias, just as he thought he was going upstairs, and another one, a huge left hook. 
And Matias again, a right hook, and Ananyan starting to really slow down. There is blood pouring all over the face of Ananyan. Matias is just pouring it on. He senses it. He can see the end coming. Final 20 seconds around seven. Can he finish it off? Short left hook on Ananyan. Again, he is just changing angles up. Ananyan trying a last stand. He tags Matias now with the left hook. And he is throwing everything he's got. And then a left hook stuns Ananyan towards the end of that round. And here's that replay. And there was a, a, what appeared to be the low blow. Again, I really couldn't tell. And that can be a huge factor. I don't think that was worthy of a low blow. I don't think it was worthy of a point deduction. Here's some action here later on in that round. It was a very entertaining round. Matias, you can sense he was really starting to damage Petros Ananyan. There you see the blood pouring from the face of Ananyan. Connected with the straight right, but Matias certainly just Tagging an onion. Round eight on the way. Matias with the stiff jab, followed with the uppercut again. Continues to throw it out there, back into the body. And Matias really starting to rip. I mean, it almost seems like Matias is getting stronger as this fight's going on. And again, just, I think he's just too much for Petros Ananyan right now. Credit Ananyan, I mean, he's got the heart of a warrior right now with the amount of punishment he's taking. I mean, his face is all bloodied up. But he is staying in there. And now Ananyan back to his jab. And you can see he's not pressing as much. I mean, that's what happens when, when you take the amount of punishment he is taking. And Matias back to the uppercut, overhand right, using the jab back to the body. Matias suffers the left hook again. Matias just kind of picking his shots. He can have whatever he wants. Petros, again, doesn't have the best defense. And it is showing, and then in the body. And you can just see those body shots are now really starting to take a toll. You can see how Ananyan curls up after each body shot. He doesn't know where these shots are coming from now. He's still in there. Left hook. And Matias unloads another flurry. Both eyes, you could see underneath, swollen. Of Ananyan. And Matias staying calm, cool, and collected. Keeping that jab in there. Ananyan trying to withstand the onslaught here. Another flurry by Matias. Into the body, left hook. Ananyan starting to throw everything he's got now to land something of significance to slow up Matias. Final seconds, and now Matias again throws a big right as that round comes to an end.
There you see the doctor checking on Anani on his face. Certainly not the best shape right now. Cuts underneath both eyes. Blood coming from the nose. Matias has certainly done a lot of damage here in round nine. Uppercut by Matias. Back to the jab. Overhand right as he continues. Back to the body and a huge left hook by Matias now. Another body shot and Nanyan is really succumbing to a lot of these shots. I really don't know how much more he can take. Referee Mary Glover watching intently. You could just see the body language on Nanyan. I think he's had enough. And right now, I'm looking at the corner of Ananyan. They continue to look on, but I just don't know how much more he can take. You may have to save him from his own good. He's not the type of fighter that's going to quit. But there's certain times and certain, certain beatings that you need to save the fighter from themselves. And I think this is starting to look like one of those times. Because Matias is a fresh, he is connecting at a higher rate, he is going to the body, he is delivering punishing blows, and Ananian is still staying in the face of Matias. And there's another left hook from Matias. I don't know how much more Petros has left. There's another, he takes another big left hook. Followed by the straight right hand. A, I mean, a huge left hook. It is really starting to look bad. And a body shot again as Ananyan curls up. A huge right hook. Ananyan left, landed a left hook of his own. As we come down to the final 30 seconds here of round nine, and Matias with an uppercut. Ananian, I still don't I, don't, I don't know how he's standing with the amount of punishment that he's taking. But Matias, credit to him, I mean, he is staying composed. He is picking him apart. And he is. Just looked absolutely tremendous. And there's a big left hook, and that puts him down. Matias finally gets the knockdown here. And Pedro Sananyan said he wants more. And I don't know if he should get any more. Referee Mary Glover said we'll continue, and that is the end of the round. And I think it is all over. There is absolutely no way they can, can continue this fight.
Davis gets the stoppage. And for one, I mean, just myself, I'm fortunate to see it because his corner was not going to stop it. Ananian himself wasn't going to quit. I think you had to save him for his own good because he was just taking a, an, a huge amount of punishment. As we take a look up close, I mean, just look at the damage that's been done. I mean, he is an absolute warrior. I think you could have stopped this fight two rounds ago. And Matias just proved to everyone as he gets redemption. There was that big left hook. And he was landing that several times. But this one was the one that finally put an Anion away towards the end of that ninth round. And Ananian was just on his last legs. He had really, didn't really have much more to give. And this is a huge victory for Subriel Matias. It's gotta feel good if you're him. I mean, this was your only blemish that you had on your record. And you were able to come back two years later and right that wrong and do it, as we said, in devastating fashion. I mean, he just obliterated Pedro Sananian. And take a look at the knockdown one more time. I mean, that was just a, it wasn't even the hardest left hook that Matias threw all fights. But I think that was just the one that finally ended things for Petros because he was just taking so much punishment. I mean, he was just fighting on pure heart in that last round. There was multiple times where it just looked like he was gonna go down. And there you see his eyes just rolled in the back of his head as he got clipped with the left hook and Kudos to the doctor for stopping that because if it wasn't for her, I don't think the corner would have stopped it. They were continuing on like they were gonna proceed to that 10th round. And there you see the left hook again. Just a dominating performance by Subrio Matias. And now we take a look here where the, the doctor stopped the fight. She was trying to get the eyes to follow and she could just sense that Ananyan wasn't all there. What a amazing performance by Matias. Just absolutely impressive through and through. And now he can celebrate. I mean, you could just sense he was determined to get the victory here tonight. He knew how Petros was going to fight him. And he was ready. And he beat Pedro Sananyan at his own game. He fought him shoulder to shoulder in a phone booth. Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Korea charge, Mary Glover stops the contest at the end of round number nine. Upon advice of the ringside physician, he is the winner by way of technical knockout, El Orgullo de Maternillo, Subriel Matias.
Subriel Matias improves to 18 and one. Here, there you see Pedro Sananian, nothing to be disappointed about. He was an absolute warrior. And here's Jim Gray. Thank you very much, Subriel, congratulations to you. Uh, this fight was really quite something. Um, how do you look so fresh? after being able to withstand and give out so much punishment. ¿Por qué todavía te ves tan fresco después de una pelea que fue tan agonizante con un buen peleador del otro lado? Primero que nada, quiero agradecerle a Dios por la oportunidad de estar aquí hoy en día y desquitando una pelea que yo siempre quise desde el primer día de mi derrota. No, first of all, I want to thank God for uh, this fight, and this is the fight I've always wanted. Since this was my, my defeat, I wanted to avenge this loss. There was a lot of risk in taking this fight. Why did you do it? Había mucho riesgo en esta pelea. ¿Por qué tomaste la pelea? Porque cuando tú estás seguro de lo que tú das y tú eres, no le temes a los riesgos. Is that when you're sure what you know that you have, the skill that you have, then you take the fight. You hit this guy with blows that would have knocked down walls and he didn't go down. Does, does that get frustrating when you're, when you're applying so much pressure and doing so well and he just keeps coming back for more? Hay frustración cuando tú le pusiste tanta presión, parece que era como una pared que tú le estabas dando. Hubiese tumbado una pared. ¿Hay alguna frustración cuando tú todavía no lo puedes tumbar? Eh, no, porque yo no soy pegador. Simplemente yo amagullo a mis oponentes. No, I'm not basically a, a hard hitter, but I'm, the way I fight is just tring him down like a tree. Just keep hitting him. You're not a hard hitter, but you're 18 and one with 18 knockouts. Uh, you think you can improve on how hard you hit? Tú dices que tú no eres un pegador, pero tiene 18 victorias y todas por la vía de knockout. ¿Tú crees que puedes mejorar la pegada? Vamos a ver qué pasa con el tiempo. Let's see what happens with time. And what would you like to do next time? ¿Qué tú quieres hacer ahora próximamente? Primero que nada, quiero agradecer al mejor promotor de Puerto Rico, Juan Iván Orengo, la mejor compañía Fresh Production Boxing. First, I want to thank my promoter, uh, one of the best in Puerto Rico. And what about next, did you say? ¿Y qué quieres próximamente? No he terminado. Quiero primero tomar mi tiempo para agradecer a cada uno de los que hicieron posible esto. No, I'm going to take my time. First of all, I want to thank everybody that made this night possible. Take my time before making another decision on who I'm going to fight.